Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Karina, and today I have a different type of video. It's more of a kind of an explanation video um, regarding cash envelopes. So I've gotten a few questions about cash envelopes and like how do you decide, you know, how much goes into that and, um, you know, when do you take out the money and things like that. And really the first answer that I have to a lot of those questions is it varies and it's very much based on you, your family, and your system. So as far as how much to, how much money to take out for each category, um, that is really dependent on your budget. So the first thing that you want to do when you, you are starting with the cash envelope system is you want to make sure that your budget is written out. And obviously your budget is fluid, so it will change from month to month. And it will change, of course, when you're definitely when you're first starting this. Um, so just create a budget and start with that. In your budget, you should have specific amounts for what you are, what your needs are, right? So what the things are in your life that you need to take care of. So for us, there are a few categories that we, well, for most of our needs, we pay for them um, like with auto auto pay. So like as far as bills and things like that go, like our power bill and our cable bill, things like that, those are paid automatically just from our bank account. And so we had to really write out what things um, didn't need to, well, yeah, which which things um, we could pay without our debit card and which things we needed to still use our debit card for. And so um, once we did that, we were able to see which items we'd be able to, which budget categories we'd be able to use cash for. And this is pretty much the list that we came up with and the list that we've stuck to for the most, for the majority of the year. So we have groceries, personal money household items, date night, personal care items, and then Kiki, who is our dog, and that's for her grooming. So from those things, um, when we sat down and looked at our budget and looked at our bank accounts, we were able to see like what we were overspending in. And the biggest thing for me was definitely 110% groceries. Like, I don't know if anyone else is like that, but there's just something like comforting about going to the store and buying food for me. It's like the weirdest thing, but that's totally what it is. And so I would go to the grocery store literally every week and spend like a hundred dollars. And so our grocery budget, you know, well, looking at our bank account, I was spending like five or $600 going to the grocery store and we were just throwing out so much food and there's only two of us and we just did not need that much food. And so we were able to really cut down and see, um, just through kind of a process of elimination and like trial and error, how much we really needed to spend on groceries. So from there we created our grocery budget, which is now $200 for the month. And that's $50 a week. Um, we do also have, oh, I didn't put that on here. We do also have a pizza fund because we like to eat pizza. And um, we don't classify that as a date night because I don't know why we don't. Well, because usually we get it and we eat it at home, like and watch a movie at home or something. So I guess that could be a date night technically. Um, but we give ourselves an additional fund for that. So I'm going to add that in. Okay, so I added pizza in there as well. So, um, yeah, so again, so I was spending a ton on groceries and... By using cash and deciding that we were going to go to a cash envelope system, it really, A, was a, we were able to control our budget and control our spending, and it really has given, um, it's given us boundaries. You know, we know that we can't just, like, look, check our bank account and see that, you know, oh, okay, there's X amount of money in there. I can spend up to that amount of money because we have other bills to take care of. We have other things and other goals, and that's what we were doing prior to starting this system and starting the um, to follow Dave Ramsey's system is I would just look at our bank account and like go to the grocery store and be like, okay, cool. I can spend, you know, $800 on food. And so I would just run around and like get whatever I wanted. And I knew that it, it would be fine because it, you know, it would go through. And so, um, <laughs> A, that was really irresponsible and B, that's just not realistic. I mean, that's, that's just crazy. So, um, don't get me wrong. Like if that's where you are, like I've been there. I mean, that's what I'm telling you. I was there. And yeah, buying food, it just makes me happy. And even, even now, like with our cash envelope system, I kind of have to check myself and check and see like what's in our refrigerator and say, okay, do I need to go to the grocery store or am I just doing this because I know it's something that like gives me comfort somehow. So there's that, which is kind of a longer spiel than I intended. Um, but the next thing is personal money and that's for both my husband and myself. So we divide this by two. So with each of these and our cash envelope system, the, these numbers are for a month. Um, with the exception of our grooming for Kiki because she goes to the groomer once every other month. And so $40 actually 
lasts for two months. So we can do like $20 a month basically for her, but it's $40 total for her to go get groomed. So um, these things are for one month. And what we've done is, I know a lot of people take out all this money, um, you know, all the money for their cash envelopes at the beginning of the month, and that's an awesome system, and we'll get to that at some point. But right now we're doing it by pay period. So we divide basically all of these things in half, and we will take out that amount of money um, at the 1st and then at the 15th. So those are the dates that my husband gets paid on at the same time every month, the 1st and the 15th. I get paid every other Friday, so my dates vary. So we just go based on his. So um, again, so our groceries, we would do $100 on the 1st, $100 on the 15th. Personal money, um, personal money we actually do take all of it out at one time at the beginning of the month. But so some of these are kind of varied, but you know, just do do what works for you, really. Um, but household items, again, 20 at the beginning, 20 at the first, 20 at the 15th. Our date night, we do again at, um, at one time because we may want to go on one like really nice date in the month, or we may want to go on two like little dates during the month. So we just don't know, so we take out that money at the first as well. Personal care items is again one that we do the first and the 15th. Um, our Kiki, <laughs> our Kiki, um, so Kiki's grooming, again, the 1st and the 15th, or we'll just do $20 um, each month. So that kind of varies. If if I know that she needs, like, additional things other than grooming, because honestly, like, for us, having a dog is really low maintenance. She doesn't really require very much um, food, obviously, but she's really little. She's 7 pounds, and so um, it takes her a long time to go through food. So we can do, um, you know, if we took out $40, um, a month we just have like extra money to pay for like her food whenever we need to buy it or um, like get her toy if we want to or something like that but um, typically just with for grooming we do twenty dollars a month and then our pizza nights we do um, typically at the beginning of the month as well so just thirty dollars for pizza for the month um, and that's really how we break it down if you guys have watched my cash envelope stuffing videos then you'll see this but I hope this has just given like some clarity and kind of helps to answer some questions. Um, again, these things are, are things like I would just spend so much money on, like personal care items. Um, that's anything from deodorant to shampoo, um, you know, anything like for your hair, like just things like that. So um, I that's again something that I could spend like a ton of money on. Our date nights, we could go on a date like three times a week, you know, and that's obviously not in our budget. That's not realistic. And that's where we were eating a lot of our money because we would just um, and even now, like, for us, date night, if we go out to fast food, like, that's part of coming out of our date night money. And so we have to really be careful and plan how we want to spend this money because we know that, like, this is it. <laughs> you know, if we want to go see a movie this month, then we need to be conservative and we need to go um, at a, on a date that, you know, allows us to do that. Um, if we don't really have a special plan for a date that month, then we'll just kind of blow it on whatever. And, you know, we'll go to Redbox and get a movie and... Uh, you know, eat dinner at home and that will be like a date or something. But we have to, having the cash envelopes and following this system has really given us um, boundaries. It's, it's almost like when you're bowling as a little kid and you have like the little rails up so that you don't get in the gutter. Like cash envelope system for us is like keeping us out of the gutter financially. <laughs> so that's really, um, I think the best way to put it. And the thing that it's, it's really helped us with the most is just being able to say, okay, this is our money, this is what we have it for, and, you know, I can either buy, you know, $100 worth of chips with our grocery money, or we can buy things that will actually, like, get us meals and keep us healthy um, for the month. So, that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, definitely, definitely let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer them, and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. I will talk to you guys soon. Have an awesome day.